How to use Touch OSC to remember your key switches in your various virtual instruments. Personally, I can never remember key switches. I have few virtual instruments from contact. Uh, right now on the screen you see Amble Guitar and you can see we have key switches down here, the yellow ones, and they continue up here in this register. And if we look on the second part of Ample Guitar, which is the strummer, I have one instance over here. You can see we have first presets of chords here that is triggered by MIDI notes. Then we have strumming patterns over here, which is also triggered by MIDI notes. You can see we have eight strumming patterns. First one is triggered by MIDI note C3. On the chord side, the C major is triggered by C1. So this is where Touch OSC comes in really handy. And if you go to the iPhone here, one of the cool things with Touch OSC is we can have multiple pages. So right now we're on the master section for DP. We have all the Zoom information for DP. And then I made a page over here for Ample Guitar. So here you see on the top I have the eight strumming patterns and then I have buttons for the various chords. So it simply works that way. I can change the chords. You can see I press the C major, press A major. You can see them shift there back to C major. And if I just hold down one of the strumming patterns, that was the first strumming pattern. Let's go to the second one. So you can just select them, hold down, and it'll play uh, the selected chord. So if I hold down strumming pattern 6 here, and it's playing the C chord, so let's change the chord here. So you get the idea. So I don't have to remember which MIDI key triggers the individual parts here. So to record this, I'll simply put DP into recording mode and use these button on Touch OSC on the iPhone. I have another instance of Ample Guitar here, and that's where we see the key switches here, the yellow ones, and there's key switches up in the upper register as well. And for the life of me, I can never remember what these are can hover over them so key switch C C0 is sustain D0 is palm mute can slide in and out so let's just work with these four and as you can see on my phone I don't have any key switches here yet so let me show you how we make them so here in touch OSC editor let's first zoom in a little bit We'll right click, add a label, and we will call it key switches. Place that up here. Then we'll make four buttons. We'll right click, make a push button. Another one. Okay, so first one we will call that one KS1 for key switch one. This one KS2. This one KS3. And this one will be KS4. We will make labels on top of these. So the first one I remember that was called sustain. So we'll just call it sus. Make it a little smaller. Sus. 
Second one, I already forgot what it was. So let's go back to DP. And it was Nature Harmonic. And it was Nature Harmonic. So right click, make another label. Got it, Net Har. Harm, that sounds better to me. Put it on top. Next one. Next one is palm mute. Again, right click, make a label. Next one, slide in and out. Again, right click. Again, right click, make a label. Now slide in, out. That was slide in, out. Save, we'll hit sync, go to the iPhone and double click the little round button in the upper right corner. In layout, I'll click on the master fader, I'll click on add, click on the host, it'll give me a warning that I'm going to override it, that's okay. Click Touch OSC and hit Done. Now I can double click on the AGGR page. And now we have the key switches at the bottom. Let's stop sync. Now we'll go to OSculator. And the first thing we'll do is simply touch the four buttons on the iPhone. So one, two, three, four. And you see how they got added here. Now we need to assign the MIDI notes. So the first will be a MIDI note here. And I remember that this was C0. Key switch number two is a MIDI note. And these were all in sequence. So that will be C sharp zero. Another MIDI note, that will be D0. And last one, also sending a MIDI note, which will be D sharp 0. And let's save that. And now if I hit these buttons on my iPhone, well, first of all, we need to have the corresponding MIDI channel in DP record enabled for us to send through the MIDI, of course. So if I click sustain, there you see the key switch. So you can see them being triggered there. So I can use these with my external keyboard as well. So I can actually play the notes on my keyboard while I'm using the Touch OSC on my iPhone or an iPad, use them simply to trigger my key switches. So much easier as you can make a page for your specific setup 
and your specific VI, and you can add more pages and could even make a setup, a template just for VIs. You don't have to have anything of Melodyne as I have in here or or some DP in here. So you could make a template for VIs and a template for effects. So all you would have to do would be double click up there in the upper right corner in the white dot, select a different layout, So once you're you're good to go, you say, okay, so this is for whatever we're doing there. And then we can switch back to say, let's go back to DP here. And so you can have so many different setups here. So even if you have an amazing amount of VIs with various key switches, you can totally set up specific pages just for the VIs that you're using the most. Please email me your concerns, ideas, your thoughts, input for new topics, and please subscribe to my videos.